Um, <laughs> Today we'll dive into potential career mistakes for each of the 16 personality types. And while any type can pursue any career, it's important to know which job fields and career choices might not align well with your inherent traits and tendencies especially when you're first starting out. Steer clear of jobs that isolate you or trap you in a cubicle. Those long hours without social interaction can really drain your energetic and people-oriented nature. So skip careers like data entry, research analysis, or library cataloging whatever that is, things that don't satisfy your need for excitement and human connections. Or if you are going into those fields, get ready for <laughs> quite a slog. Watch out for careers that lack challenges and growth opportunities. Monotonous, routine-based jobs like accounting or compliance officer gigs can leave you feeling unfulfilled and bored. So if you wanna keep that fire burning, find a career that keeps you on your toes and lets you grow. I think that's why the stereotype of the ESTP is the entrepreneur who's just going out, doing their own thing, getting what they can get while the getting's good. <laughs> now y'all thrive on flexibility, and exploring multiple interests. Careers that involve repetitive tasks or rigid structures like budgeting or statistics, they're gonna make you feel like you're stuck. Don't settle for the mundane. Find a career that lets you embrace your versatility and constantly learn and grow in different areas that tickle your fancy. All y'all, you need, you need that breathing room. One of the career mistakes for you all is getting trapped in mundane or routine jobs that don't challenge your intellectual curiosity because you're all about intellectual stimulation, innovation, and exploring new possibilities. So avoid careers that lack variety or require you to follow strict rules like data entry or quality control. Like I don't want you controlling the quality of <laughs> anything I'm gonna buy. I'm just kidding. Instead, embrace careers that let you engage your problem-solving skills and unleash your entrepreneurial spirit. You all excel in positions of authority and control, but be careful, don't get into a position where you become too rigid or you resist others' input. Try to avoid careers that limit your autonomy but also limit teamwork. You don't wanna to go too extreme in either direction. Jobs that require you to stick to the rules without room for innovation or collaboration, such as retail or the middleman to the middleman might not be your cup of tea. I know you might be surprised. You're, you're like, Frank, I didn't know that our type was innovative but you are. When it comes to solving problems, you guys can get quite creative. Likewise, you all are driven by achieving goals and making things happen, but be wary of careers that don't offer opportunities for strategic decision-making or your personal influence. Jobs that offer limited control or require strict adherence to established protocols can leave you feeling unfulfilled. So steer clear of bureau, bureau bleh, 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 bleh. that's hard to say, bureaucratic organizations and find a career that aligns with your need for advancement and forward thinking. Oh, social butterflies listen up you all thrive in social and people oriented careers so watch out for jobs that lack structure or require excessive independence so working in isolation or jobs that require you to do everything on your own might leave you feeling disconnected and dissatisfied. So you might want to stay away from fields like freelance writing, where you're just by yourself all day. Independent consulting, remote work without regular team interactions. Find a career that lets you engage with people and soak up the social energy. One of the career mistakes you could make is getting caught up in jobs that prioritize personal gain or material success over making a positive impact on others. You're all about creating change and helping people, so careers that are solely focused on profit or self-centered pursuits won't bring you fulfillment. Avoid pursuing careers solely for financial gain. Like, you can still <laughs> pursue financial gain, that just can't be the biggest thing. Stuff like investment banking or corporate law, it's just all about the money, I imagine. Find a career that lets you make a difference and keeps your heart full. Yo, you are hands-on problem solvers who prefer practical tasks. So be cautious about careers that involve excessive social interaction, which <laughs> you all might say, that's any social interaction. Also avoid high pressure interpersonal environments. Jobs that require constant interaction with people or intense teamwork, such as customer service or event planning, might drain your energy and hinder your ability to shine in your natural 
problem solving and technical skills. Like I would hate to see an ISTP <laughs> wedding planner. It can be done. It just might not be what you wanna jump into like in your early 20s. You all are dreamers and thinkers. So don't get trapped in overly structured and restrictive environments. You thrive on intellectual freedom, exploration and thinking outside the box. So careers that require strict adherence to the rules, stifle your creativity or limit your autonomy, it's bad news. Just say no to organizations with too much red tape or roles that lack room for intellectual exploration. Find a career that lets your mind roam free and sparks your curiosity. Your creativity and self-expression are precious. Don't let them be stifled. Don't hide them under a basket. Stay away from careers that suppress your artistic and individualistic spirit. Highly regimented jobs or those that demand conformity like technical writing or software testing might put a damper on your creative flame. Find a career that allows you to express your creativity, connect with your personal values, and find fulfillment and purpose. I know that sounds like a tall order. <laughs> you all are the champions of personal meaning and authenticity. So don't compromise your values and passions for the sake of stability or societal expectations. Careers that go against your core values or require you to suppress your true selves, like working in a profit-driven corporate environment, can leave you feeling disillusioned and conflicted. Align your career with your values and pursue paths that allow you to make a positive impact while staying true to yourself. Now you all love hands-on positions and structured routines, am I right? So watch out for careers that involve excessive change or constant interruption. Jobs that require constant adaptation or lack any structure can lead to stress and discomfort for you. So you might wanna skip fields like event planning or public relations or even freelance work if you want that stability and methodical approach in your career. So you all tend to make decisions based on values. So be cautious of careers that rely solely on logical and analytical thinking, specifically when it comes time to make decisions. So jobs that revolve around numbers and data might overwhelm you, especially jobs where the numbers are telling you to do something that you know is gonna make people upset. Find careers that allow you to use your heart alongside your head. Fields like computer programming, auditing or insurance might not fully utilize your strengths. You are innovative and strategic thinkers. Watch out for careers that demand a lot of social interaction or compromise your vision. Jobs that require that constant collaboration or managing large teams can drain your energy and distract you from your own goals and ambitions. I feel like this is especially true early in your career. So look for a career that lets you work independently, at least sometimes, leverage your analytical and forward-thinking nature and stay focused on your own path. Now you all are natural born helpers. It's hard for you all to see someone else and like not tell them, hey, this is what you should do. But if you get into a career where helping others is what you do, don't forget to take care of yourself too. Careers that demand excessive emotional labor or invite you to disregard your personal boundaries, it's gonna lead you to burnout and exhaustion. I know a lot of times the advice is go into therapy. You all make great therapists. But the thing is, if you're going into counseling or social work, you gotta make sure that you prioritize self-care. I think it's easy for you all to take your work home with you. If you are, say, a counselor who is working with someone, it's gonna be difficult for you to then go home at the end of the day and not be working on this other person's problems. So be careful of that. Find careers that align with your values, allow you to make a difference and help other people, but also make sure that you maintain that healthy work-life balance. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay cool and attractive. They say a stranger's come to town.